Well, meanwhile, the wildfires have caused wildlife to lose their habitats. Fox 3's Maya Nicholson has more. Be cautious in everything that you do as you're getting ready for hunting season. Forestry and Agriculture Commissioner Mike Strain said that Louisiana has lost more than 50,000 acres of land from fires this season. And so in those particular areas where you have this, and because of the intensity of the fires, uh, it is literally burnt to ash. And so, you know, there will be, you know, very little for, for wildlife to feed upon, you know, for the next six to eight months in those areas. In the sportsman paradise, hunters are now raising concerns about the wildfire's impact on wildlife and fisheries. Sheriff Clinton hunts on Panola land with family and friends often. But generally, you know, the people that are part of your hunting clubs, your deer camps, or the people that love the outdoors and, and wildlife the most and, and are always going to be looking for ways and um, being responsible to be good conservators uh, of what we have here in Texas. He says that it is a blessing to have land to enjoy. Sheriff Clinton urges land users to think about the next generation who will use the land. Uh, we, we use everything up that we have now and uh, don't, don't take responsible means and are good stewards and good conservators of uh, the resources and uh, things that we enjoy. We won't be able to pass those down to previous generations and, and we'll lose a part of uh, East Texas and Arklatex of, of of what makes it special and, and what so many people for generations have enjoyed. Maya Nicholson, Fox 33 News. Oh, I love his message. Hey, this is happening, but good words. Well, the Forestry and Agriculture Commission asked people to not light any campfires and bring a fire extinguisher with them.